what's going on everybody it's Pelfrey and since I took the uh, cube down I figured I'd do a review and my overall thoughts on the eShop's Nano Cube Refugium Sump um, there's not a lot of information on this particular sump so I figured I'd get this out there um, if you're on the fence about buying it or if you don't even know that this exists um, here's your opportunity to get what I think about it and kind of base whatever my opinion is on whether or not it'll work perfect for your system. So starting off, um, the space that I had was very limited uh, as far as inside the stand. And I had originally started with a 5.5 gallon sump. Um, I, I wanted more water, water volume with more options. Uh, I just happened to stumble across the eShop's Nano Cube Refugium um, and I immediately picked it up. I did have to modify it for my specific drain which what I mean by modify is I had to cut a piece of the acrylic off the back of the, uh, the sump for it to work with my, my drain situation. But overall, I love this sump. Uh, the refugium was plenty big. The skimmer section fit the uh, PSK, uh, the eShop's PSK 75 skimmer perfectly. And uh, the return chamber um, was adequate for what I needed. Um, you know, it, with anything, um, especially in a cube, uh, in, in a cube sump, it's very difficult um, knowing exactly how much water level you have in your return chamber. So all I did to remedy this was make sure that I had as much water in the system that it could hold if the power shut off. Uh, but it's worth mentioning that on the in between the skimmer section and the uh, refugium there's a black sponge right there and that black sponge actually um, goes directly into the return section so you'll get a pretty good idea of how much water is in that section by that that small um, sponge how much water's in there um, so you know in inside of the stand I had very limited space and um, it, it fit perfectly I had a little room to spare whenever I fit it inside the cabinet but once it was inside the cabinet I was able to mount my refugium light over the top of it and I was able to mount a BRS mini reactor above the uh, sump and then I had it pull water out of the skimmer section and then dump the water from the reactor into the return section but overall I would definitely buy this sump again as I pan the video back um, to the back of the sump, you can see where I had to cut the sump out to fit my return drain. So the where the cutting is not straight, uh, I just took a hacksaw and cut it so that I could fit my Herbie drain um, so I could submerge it into the water since that's what you do with the Herbie drain. This sump does take a four inch filter sock. Um, the one thing that's worth mentioning is the drain drains into the refugium and then the refugium to the return section. Um, the filter socket actually goes from the filter socket to the skimmer section and then into the return section. So the water does not, all of the water does not go through the filter sock, but you know, for, for what it's worth, um, I didn't mind vacuuming out the refugium from time to time just to get all of the junk out of it. So the skimmer section is pretty big. I have an MJ1200 running my reactor. I have a bag full of pond matrix. I have the PSK 75 skimmer inside the skimmer section, and there was actually still a little bit of room left over. Um, and in the, the refugium section there, I have a um, Eheim heater and a pretty good sized piece of rock, as well as the Chato Morpho that I've trimmed down quite a bit because it had overtaken that chamber, which is what I wanted. I wanted it to grow like crazy to begin with, and it definitely did its job. Uh, and it was, uh, it was so big that I got a couple sandwich baggies pretty full of Chato to um, donate to my local fish store. But... Um, once again, uh, there's not a lot of information on this sump, so you know if you're on the fence about it, or like I said before, if, if you've never even heard about it, uh, get on eShop's website or just Google it. There's a ton of vendors that sell this sump, and I highly recommend it. You know, for $200, it does seem pretty steep for a sump, but the security that you have, knowing that this is going to hold your water volume without any issue, and the capabilities that you have to add stuff to it is priceless. You know, with anything, you get what you pay for. And whenever you uh, splurge a little bit on a piece of equipment like this, you have uh, more options. You have more skimmer options. You have more refugium options. You know, you could put uh, refugium plants 
uh, in there, you have the room for it versus if you go with a smaller sump, you just don't have the room for all of this stuff. Um, I'm not sure what off um, skimmers would fit in this exact sump, um, but it's, it's a lot bigger than say, you know, the 5.5 gallon sump that I was originally using, which whenever I had built the sump, I built the sump around my skimmer. So I was pretty much stuck to that platform, um, or excuse me, that footprint, and if I wanted to go with something bigger, I couldn't. Whereas with the eShop sump, if I decided that I wanted to go with the bigger skimmer, I, I could upgrade. So let's take a look at the back of the sump. On the left hand side, you have the return section. On the right hand side, you have the drain. Um, and this does accept a four inch filter sock. This is a four inch filter sock that I bought from Bull Reef Supply. The uh, filter sock that comes with the sump is a lot longer. I just decided to go with a, a shorter uh, filter sock for no other reason than it was just a couple dollars cheaper. Um, but you can see how much room and how much water volume this holds back there. I'm not sure on the gallons that it'll hold exactly in the back part of the sump, but you know I don't have any, I don't ever have to worry about running the return pump dry. And I know that at this water volume, I can shut the system off or the power can shut off, and I won't have to worry about the sump overflowing. And this is how the drain is set up from the factory. Um, basically, if you can see the little the holes at the bottom underneath the filter socket and underneath my PVC pipe. The hole underneath the PVC pipe goes to the refugium. The holes underneath the filter sock go into the skimmer section. So to recap real quick, um, this is the eShop's Nano Refugium Cube Sump and it had the eShop's PSK75 skimmer and a uh, CJ 1.5 return pump which fit uh, perfectly in the chamber. Uh, I give this a thumbs up. I would gladly purchase this sump again. Here's a final view of the sump with the refugium light on. This is just a Home Depot clamp-on light with a uh, Philips LED bulb, and it grew the Chato like crazy. Uh, I appreciate everyone for watching. If, uh, if you have this sump, I'd love to hear your comments on it. Uh, if this is something you're thinking about, I highly recommend it. Uh, once again, I appreciate you watching, and I hope that this has given you some more information to make you decide whether or not this will work for your application or not. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.